This is the new tram bridge which is going to be installed at Nottingham Station. I'm here with Andy Banya who's the structures manager for the tram contractor Taylor Woodrow Alston. Andy, can you just describe the bridge for us? Yeah, up there you've got the main uh, tubular steel truss which will support the whole bridge across the station. Uh, here you've got the, the main cross girders uh, which tie the two sides of the truss together and then on top there you'll have a concrete slab which will actually support the, uh, the, the trams across the whole of the bridge. And you're going to be sliding the bridge for the first time tonight. It's going to be inching its way over Queen's Road. How are you going to slide the bridge? Yeah, well, the, the slide works by... The, the, the bridge is supported on this saddle arrangement here, which takes the whole weight of the bridge at this support. Uh, it's sat on a Teflon slide plate on a stainless steel uh, support here. And there's a, a jack that would pull the bar in the middle, and that will actually pull that support to the far end. It's a full stroke of 2.6 metres, uh, and when the support reaches the far end, then we can take the whole weight of the, the, the whole bridge on the, the red jack systems that are either end of the bridge. These jacks will lift the bridge up, and then the slide uh, plate can come all the way back to the start, and, we, and that gets us back to the start to the cycle again. So we'll run that cycle through however many times it needs to cross the whole of Queen's Road. It takes about two hours to do a whole cycle. That's great. Thank you for your time, Andy.